Hey guys, this chapter was much more backstory about Azami, and my god, we also learn more about his plan. The fact that the Polar Star Dawn ain't part of what he wanted, and the fact that that it's not. We all learn about his plan of his world of cooking. More. Izan was just his, his first piece moving. So let's crack down to it. Shokeki no Soma 150. <laughs> so this chapter pretty much opens up with him coming to see Erina and allowing Erina to stay at the dorm because he has a strong grasp and a strong belief that that Erina will return to him but will he now once she found out that Soma is Doritro Cyber's son because Erina was shot is scared each time he's around and she, and he and his army comes to see Erina She's always got that scared, feeble look, knowing that she doesn't want to go back. But yet, because of how forceful his training was, how forceful and obedient he forced Erina to become, she will do what he says. If he says to return to her, she will return to him. And so it keeps on, and he's just then patting. But but the fact that then one of our our friend our friends said yelled out, knowing what he did to her means that he can't hold up the facade anymore in the dorm. He knows that they know the truth. And then Fumio, Nakam and I'm going to be calling him Nakamura. He's not a Nakiri, he's a Nakamura. And she then, Fumio then gives him, everybody was shocked when we learned that Azami was a former, former member of the Polar Star dorm, along with, with Jurichiro and Guy. I think it was Guy. We learned that he he rose to power in historical speed of getting up to the thirsty then to because he wanted to reach the demon king of food he then married as we said Erina's mo mother and he, his pro skill prodigy from any perspective is what clearly he was the top star of the culinary world so he was the top class he was the top notch until Zenzaimon exiled him I want to know why Sinzaimon exiled him. Everybody's shocked that he was a former first seat. He was the same age as the, as everybody there. And he was already the third seat of the Elite Ten when he was there. And then he calmly chose to destroy the dorm that he once called home. I quote as army here. It's not like that I wanted to destroy the Polar Star dorm. Specifically. It's just that the Polar Star Dorm happened to be mixed in with the organization that I tried to destroy. So, there's another organization that Azami is trying to destroy, and the Polar Star Dorm is mixed in with that. And he, he keeps on mentioning that it's a good victory, but it, it's they're pretty much at peace at the moment. Rather, I he keeps on saying rather that I say that this board game has just begun. So th so even though they have a minor victory, he has other plans to get in the Polar Star Dorm knocked down. But I'm curious of how that's going to work because it's going to be even troubler now that he learned at the end of this chapter, and I'll be discussing that chapter as well. That he mentioned that he certainly you've he that they he knows that he they defeated Izan, but. His his invasion still advancing apparently, and the super superior forces I've conscripted will continue to march into the field known as Tosutsuki. So he has other people coming in to making sure that he that the Polar Star Dorm has it gets knocked down, and he he mentions that the day when when I once again place you, your piece into checkmate will eventually arrive. So he's trying to get the Polar Star Dorm back into checkmate. He's trying to get his true gourmet will into a complete fruition. He's trying to get his idealized true gourmet, the will that I hated, the will that he forced upon Erina. At any rate, since I've it's he's just letting Erina just stay here, and she's just scared and frightened. So I'm just curious. 
and he talks to his secretary about letting her stay there and that there ain't no problem. Soma then came out and he just mentioned that your Yukihira Soma couldn't, right? Are you here to see me? Well, well, you could say that. I had a simple question for you. What is it? Nakimura, Nakimura Senpai. He's going. He's just calling him Senpai because of him being a former residence there. The number of years he lived here. Don't you have any sort of emotional attachment to? I wonder was that any an insult? Oh, so so much cocky way of speaking and as Nakamura. Nakamura Senpai already re picked on that and noticed that it, he, Soma could be insulting him what was a brilliant way to do this chapter. But then Nakamura Senpai just decides that this storm does not have a place in this world I wish for. At least not as it exists now. So he wants to knock it down, he wants to then rebuild it so it's much more to his like, so it's much more to what he sees. When I was at the dorm, there was a senpai I really respected. He then talks about Jorichiro. He was daring yet delicate, a, a genius beyond a shadow of a doubt. The digits he brought forth all shone with an extraordinary brilliance. The days I spent with senpai were my best memories and they continue to warm my heart. Unlike this currently living, currently living at this dorm, he was a marvellous chef. Hmm, I see, I see. Though I don't think the dorm right now is all that bad. This is all so nostalgic. Cyber Senpai and the Polar Star Dorm's Golden Generation. The time of my youth that I loved most of all that is where, where he exists. He possessed the skills and senses to make you believe that he was a cut above the commoners. And down to the very... Hmm. You may not know this. Then we see Erina running down to the egg entrance when Soma announces that Cyber Jerichiro is his father. So let's get down to my thoughts. So, okay, so all in all, this chapter was really good. We learned more about Azami Nakamura, and I'm going to be calling him Nakamura for now on because he doesn't deserve having his first name, but Nakamura, a lot of people seem to. Talk to talk to some of these characters with their last name. So I'm going to be calling Azami with his last name, with his first original last name, not Nakakiri, because I don't see him as a Nakakiri, just like Zenzaimon doesn't see him as. And he has a plan. He's got everything planned to get the Polar Star of Dawn back into checkmate. We then he then now just get learns that Jerichiro Cyber is Yukihiro Soma. But then we get. Erina running out of the door, catching that bit of Soma announcing that his dad is Dorichiro Cyber. So this has just gone into a bit more of a pickle. What's going to happen next chapter, I don't know. But yet again, Shogeki no Soma, the greatness of the mangas I review have now shown. It is one of my favourite chapters yet again. And I cannot wait for more. Overall, this has just become a greatness. We learned that Jirijiro was Nakamura's senpai. We learned that he adored him. He adored the way he's cooking. But the way that Jirijiro... But it just means that there's a lot more backstory of the golden generation. I'm hoping the creators of Shogeki no Soma actually does a prequel manga like Fairy Tale Zero, that explains a lot of the mystery of the golden generation of the Polar Star Dawn, because I would love to read that. I would love to see what happened during the golden generation of the Polar Star Dawn. I would love to see what was going on during the time of Jirichiro and Nakamura's time as, as students, because I want to know why Nakamura looked up to Jirichiro, and why does Jirichiro not like Nakamura anymore? Is it because of the way he ended up treating Erina? Is it, if it's because of that, then I want to see see that backstory, because now that, by the looks of things, Erina now learned without, want, 
out and realizing it. Jerichiro Cyber is that Soma's father, and it, and all the Storm members can confirm that Cyber Jerichiro is Soma's dad because he came to visit Soma during one of the four one of the events, and everything. And they can all agree that Jerichiro Cyber is Soma's father. So now that this happened, Jerichiro needs to come back now at some point. Some point now during this time period while Elena is still at the Polar Star door and all and just explain everything to Elena and why Soma is there because this has just became interesting and this just leads into much more of the greatness that is Food Wars Shogeki no Soma. Other than that this was a fantastic chapter of the greatness of, of Shogeki no Soma and comment down below what you liked and did not like about this chapter. And I'll see you next time for another manga chapter anime review. This has been Kai from Kaizo Take a Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya!